update on the black currant right here and the nanking cherry i've looked online and they said you need some people say you need a pollinator for this you need two of these so they can pollinate cross pollinate and some people say you don't need it so i think my best what i read online i think some will self-pollinate and others won't or if they do self-pollinate you won't get a as much of a yield of fruit so i'm probably going to be on the lookout for another one of these the problem is to get one that this big so i got this from jung seeds i think they're based in wisconsin they sent it down and everything came pretty much like this except didn't have as much budding going on it was like just about to bud but they sent it out pretty big this is a big plant <laughs> i'll guess it's probably like one to two years old i'll guess which is great for the price it was under what was it it was about i don't know it was under twenty dollars for a plant that's already this big i'm happy but the problem is they sold out a lot of these tree fruit tree places you know this is the fruiting shrub kind of are selling out so it's hard to get especially something like this rare i would say you don't see these on a lot of fruit tr tree sites um i seen somebody's video where they said they got it from tractor supply but theirs is way smaller than this one i mean i guess they could still self-pollinate maybe it'll flower at least i don't know but i'm looking for one this size so i, I gotta keep going back to their site to look and see make sure i can get one when they do restock if they do restock this year hope or hopefully this is one that will give me at least a little bit of fruit but i'm gonna keep both of these in the buckets the black currant this shouldn't need a pollinator i think i've researched that and they didn't say anything about needing a pollinator i think it's self-pollinating so this will be fine just worried about this nanking cherry both of these are great sizes for the price so i'm very happy i hopped on it i believe that the currants are still in stock but i know the cherries are and on their site a lot of fruit trees are out of stock like there's no i wanted to get an apricot tree none of those available i was looking for a bartlett pear so that i could put on this pear to help pollinate so these could pollinate apparently a lot of pears will not self-pollinate so and this is one of them that won't self-pollinate so that's what's on the road for the next couple of weeks i actually got one coming in that will pollinate this one it's a dwarf so it should fruit a little bit earlier i forgot the name of the dwarf though well it's that i believe that one is a what's the name of this one so you got a little clearance florida home florida home so yeah we're gonna need a pollinator for that one and i got one coming which is great because this one is looking very good growing very well even in a pot but it's not going to do anything without a pollinator so we got to get a pollinator on it and the best thing about junk seeds is their plants are going to come three to five foot tall so they're already pretty doggone big like i was super surprised when i got these in the mail when i bought them i was like okay they're gonna be probably up to here maybe little babies but freaking uh, pretty much a bush already you know especially this one if, when it starts to get leaves it's gonna look like a full-grown bush in my opinion it's gonna look like this <laughs> this rose actually i might even plant it in the future i might even plant it like right here right beside this rose as you see i got my there's a mars grape somewhere in there and then a muscadine right there so i'll put maybe a current or the cherry bush over here also but that's it in the, the video i don't want to make this one too long thanks for watching peace i'll update y'all